guys, I'm Jeremy from Pioneer Philippines. So, didiscuss natin ngayon yung bagong model na Pioneer Tablet and then yung Pioneer Smart PC. So, number one, yung Pioneer Tablet is meron siyang 8-inch na IPS screen which is yun yung mga ginagamit na gaya sa model. So, pansin nyo. Pansin nyo. Kahit katoin siya, automatically, hindi siya yung parang nagba, nagba, ano yung parang biblik blink So, ganun katiba yung panel. Number two is meron siya battery capacity na 4,000 mAh. So, hindi matagal mo siyang magagamit kasi mahaba talaga. Number three is meron siyang 2 gig na RAM and 16 gig na ROM. So, medyo marami-rami ka namang save na apps pagdating sa Android. And then, ang maganda rito guys, meron siyang built-in GPS. So, once na gamitin mo yung Waze or any navigation na gusto mo magamit, matitrace na yan. Siyempre, may GPS ka. And then, may built-in Wi-Fi siya. So, pwede mo i-connect via Wi-Fi via internet. And, meron din po siyang Bluetooth and mirroring or yung casting na tinatawa. So, yung screen sharing yan. Last thing, meron siya micro USB for charging and micro SD para sa mga memory card na pwede ka mag-a-a ng music or that kind of pictures. For smart receiver, which is a model is SPH 20E. Ito po yung pinaka back view niya. So meron tayo speaker out, monitor out para sa headrest, rear cam, okay, bluetooth mic, and auxiliary and meron po tayong tinatawag dito na terminal for parking sensor si Pioneer po kasi is merong model na parking sensor which is NDPS01 pwede mo siyang i-connect dito para once na magamit mo yung tablet yung parking sensor lalabas dito yung pinaka warning sa mismong screen yung tablet once na connected yung tablet sa mismong smart display So, ano po ba yung pagandaan ng smart tablet na ito? Number one, wala na siyang SIM card. So, let's go is. Number two, yung mga navigation natin, mas malaki na yung magiging screen natin, which is 8 inches na siya. And then, pure Android na. And then, yung DPS is malaking tulong na ngayon. Kasi, madalas ang mga driver ngayon is napaka-importante ng navigation. That's why, gumuho na yung parang. And then, for the smart receiver naman, meron siyang USB terminal na pwede kang mag-play ng high definition files. Like, full HD, mga movies mo, mga pictures mo na malaka siyang quality. Movies mo na pwede mong share. For example, may address ka na. Connect mo rito. So, kung gusto mo naod ng mga passenger mo sa likod, HD files, pwede pwede rin. So, papakita namin sa inyo ngayon kung ano yung pinaka-main features ng tablet na ito. So, for audio icon, para lumabas siya, kailangan mo munang mag-play ng music or ng videos, whether Bluetooth or USB. So, once na nakapag-play ka na ng music or ng videos, pwede mong pindutin yung audio icon. Lalabas dyan yung equalizer settings, super Todoroki sound, easy sound fit, dynamic bass enhancer, loudness, source lever adjuster, balance, advanced settings, sound retriever, and then save. So number one, yung equalizer, nandyan po yung super bass, powerful, dynamic natural, vocal, vivid, and then custom one and two, and then flat. So, iba't iba naman po ang klase ng sound na gusto natin. So, iba't ibang equalizer din yun nandyan. And then, yung susunod is Super Todoroki Sound, which is yung low, high, or super, super high. So, eto po is mananagdagan yung konting bass or mananagdagan ng konting power. Depende na lang sa gusto mong settings. And then, easy sound fit. So, yung easy sound fit, dyan mo makikita yung nakakategory yung sasakyan. So, if ever compact, Standard, intermediate, o yung SUV, and then yung premium. 
So, magdidepende yung volume. Okay? Yung volume mismo ng piniplay mo, depende kung ano yung pinili mo. Example, yung kotse mo, sedan, or whether compact o standard. So, para hindi rin masyadong malakas o hindi rin masyadong mahina yung dating sa'yo. Yun yung kagandaan ng Easy Sound Beat ng Pioneer Smart Sync. And then, yung Dynamic Bus Enhancer, may low, may high. So, yung loudness, syempre, mas lalakas siya. Then, yung balance, dyan mapapasok yung left and right volume. Okay, para balance yung dating. Yung example, gusto mo malakas yung kaliwa or malakas yung kanan. So, yun yung purpose ng balance. Then, may advanced settings. So, sa advanced settings, pwede mong i-adjust per speaker kung ano yung gusto mong mas malakas. So, dyan napapasok yung parang time alignment. So, yun. Nakita nyo ito yung front right and then front left or yung rear left which is RL and rear right which is yung RR. And then next yung sound retriever. So yung sound retriever guys is napaka importante kasi number one technology po yan ni Pioneer. Siya yung nag enhance ng MP3 yung mga nawawalang quality ng sounds. Binabalik niya po once na i-on mo yan yung mode 1 or yung mode 2. Madalas na nawawala sa MP3 na sounds is yung mga bass na babuwasan ng treble. So once na naka-on yung sound retriever, automatically ibabalik niya po yung nawalang quality ng sounds. And then last thing, matapos mong i-adjust lahat, press save. Magtatanong po siya. Kung na-adjust niyo na po lahat ng settings under audio, i-okay niya lang. That's it. So next is yung screen. Under screen, Nandyan po yung theme, yung UI color, illumination color, yung adjustment ng brightness ng screen. Pwede nyo i-adjust yan. Okay. Or yung dimmer. Siyempre yung dimmer, medyo didiliman nyo. So, under team, makikita nyo yung iba't ibang kulay. Okay. So, pwede mong mabago yan. Ayan. Kapansin nyo, nagbabago siya. Sa UI color, ayan, makikita nyo. Pwede mong gawin pink, red, amber, yellow, green. So, it's up to you. Kung ano yung mood mo or let me just say kung ano yung gusto mong color. Next is parking assist. So, example, nagkabit ka ng parking sensor sa SPH T20BT. So, magkakaroon yan, ma-highlight yan yung parking sensor. Pag nagkabit ka naman ng rear cam or ng camera, okay, nandyan yung rear view camera, yun mo, parking assist guide. Ayan, parking assist guide adjust or yung rear view setting. Under normal image o yung reverse image. Okay, sa reverse gear, meron tayong two options. Battery, under battery, or underground. Depende na lang po kung saan po i-go-connect ng installer yung pinaka-reverse gear at pipiliin na lang po yung settings dun sa parking assistance. And then, sa audio, yung na-discuss ko kanina, and then, nandito yung information. Ayan. Nandiyan yung device information, yung license, yung EULA, yung privacy policy, and then yung version na ginamit for this unit. And then, yung health manual or yung, let me just say na, Pag kinilik mo yan, lalabas yung welcome to Chrome. So, pag once na accept mo yan, nandiyan yung privacy notice in terms of service pagdating sa Android. Yun po yung laman ng Pioneer Smart Sync settings. And then, the rest is makikita mo yung Bluetooth audio, yung basic na nakikita mo sa Android, like yung Chrome, yung contacts mo, or if ever mag-download ka rin like Facebook or YouTube or Viber, Lahat na makikita mo sa uh, Play Store is pwede mong isave dito. At... So, yun guys. Na-discuss na natin kung ano yung main features ng Pioneer Tablet and then Pioneer Smart Receiver. Kung may inquiries naman kayo regarding kung saan mabibili ito, yung mga latest model ng Pioneer, pwede kayong magpunta sa mga Pioneer Authorized Dealer and Pioneer Certified Installer. Kung meron naman kayong inquiries, regarding sa mga main features, so let me just say na meron kayong na-miss regarding sa video na to. 
pwede po kayong magtanong sa Pioneer Philippines sa Facebook page namin and also sa YouTube channel namin which is Pioneer Philippines. Pero huwag niyong kalimutan kung mag-subscribe, like, follow yung mga page na para mas masaya tayo. Okay guys? So, bye for now. See you on our next video.